In this tutorial we're going to learn how to use the javascript join function to merge the values of an array into one single value. Hi this is James from Junior Developer Central and welcome to Javascript Snippets, a series of tutorials where we look at some of the key things to learn with javascript to become a junior developer. If you have a second don't forget to subscribe below to support the channel and so you don't miss out on any of these essential javascript training tutorials. Ok so let's dive right into how to use the join function. So we've got an array here just with some words in it and I'm logging that out to the console on the right hand side. So what I can do is actually call directly on this array variable the join function and if I then run that code now. Whereas before we had the array of values being displayed, we've just got one string that's been printed out and it's been joined by commas. And probably one of the first questions new developers have is how do I get rid of those commas? I didn't want to join them with commas. Maybe you just wanted to put a space in instead. And there is actually a parameter that you can pass into the join function, which is the separator. So if you just pass in an empty string into there or one space character, you can see the resulting string is now printed out without those commas in there. And we could change this separator to pretty much anything that you wanted to and it can be multiple characters as well so if we did something like that you can see the result of the string is each element in the array joined with whatever we put in as the separator as the argument so something to note is that the join function always produces a string so if we go back and just put space as the separator there if in our array we had an array of numbers for example so one two three four five when we run the code again you can see we do get the values printed out but this is actually a string it's actually converted those numbers into just one big string but it is more common to call a function with a group of strings uh, it is actually possible to if you have objects inside your array as well so for example if i had something like this so i've got two objects in each with its own property in there and when i join it together you'll see the output on the right hand side just says object object and that's because the join function is basically coercing or changing those objects into a string and when you do that with an object that's the result that you get in javascript just object object so just while we're here we'll actually look at how the other way around of doing it so if you had a string for example say you wanted to split that string up and save it as an array we well, can do that using a function unsurprisingly called split and if we just run that code as it is you'll see we just get an array with one item and that's the entire string. So we actually need to tell split as a, with a parameter what we want to split as the separator. So in this instance, all of the words are separated by spaces. So if we pass a space in as the parameter to the split function and run it again, you'll see we've reversed what we had in the original code with each word as an item in the array. So the reason I mentioned split here is because it usually goes hand in hand with join. So usually you'll want to use split to split a string up into its component words or parts and then perform some operation on each individual element in the array and then join them back together again. And you can see we can do that by saying join and pass in a space as the separator again and we get our original string printed back to the console. So hopefully that's given you a good introduction as to when you might use join and how to use it. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any of these essential JavaScript trainings, and I'll see you next time.